G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back with another Final Fantasy XV Comrades Guide, and this time I'm going to be talking a little bit about shurikens. Now, with all the other weapons guides I do, I usually pick a weapon that scales all the way up to level 99, but with the shurikens, as far as I know, there isn't one that goes all the way up to 99. Generally, 99 weapons they give you the most opportunity to pump stats into the weapon and um, usually they become the best weapon in their class but for the shurikens i think the highest level is level 70 on the cornflower so i'm going to be talking today about the petrified disc and its uh, evolved version the cornflower uh, not only does this level up to level 70 with no restrictions or requirements on how to level it up, it also gets two very powerful moves called the Soul Siphon X and the Life Drain X. Both of these moves allow you, or well, they give you a chance on hit to get HP and MP back. So this is a great backup or um, support weapon to have on any type of character. In order to get the base version of this weapon, the Petrified Disc, you have to actually get it from a break or a rare break from a Malba Dooms. These are the, the kind of the big brothers of the Malboros, and you can find them most commonly in the mission Smog on the Water. Now, I got two of these in one run. Uh, I don't know what the luck is or what the chances are of getting this weapon, but I imagine if you keep doing this quest, it's going to make it um, not all that hard. A good tip here if you're going to be farming this is that if you do the Cursed Call mission or the Cursed Call mission, uh, you can actually get a food buff that prevents all status ailments. So that one might help here as the bad breath can be uh, pretty annoying in this one. So once you've got that lucky break and got the Petrified Disc off the Malba Doom, we bring the Petrified Disc over to the Weapon Upgrade table and we can see it has a max level of 30 and it has no other requirements on it. Usually we'll have a bar under say Strength or Spirit or something like that, but on the Petrified Disc you can see that there is a bar underneath the level but nothing else. This means that it can be remodeled, but there's no requirements here. So straight from the start, you can put in whatever items you want into it. So that gives you a lot of freedom with this one. So like I said before, the uh, Cornflower, the upgraded version of the Petrified Disc, does get a Soul Siphon and a Life Drain skill. So it's good for rebuilding your MP and your HP. Now this can work in, uh, in your favor in two different regards. You can either be a very heavy magic user and once you've spent all your magic you can use this to kind of spam on the enemy and get your MP back. In this case you'd probably want to build the dagger or sorry the shuriken in a uh, in a magic spirit type of way. But this can also be useful if you're using a character that uses the Aura Sigil to boost, boost their strength. The Aura Sigil robs you of any type of heal, and also when you use it, it'll deplete all your MP. So this might be a very quick way to, after you've done that Aura, kind of spam it a little bit to get your MP back. And if you're running low on health, because you're lacking that self-heal, you can use this to boost up your strength again. So with that in mind, you can really build this weapon any any way you want. Most of the time it will probably sit back as just a piece of equip, so I would be pumping up a stat as much as you can with it. So once you've reached level 30 on that one with any combinations of materials, it will remodel into the Cornflower. Now when it reaches the Cornflower, you'll get an extra 40 levels on top of it, so its max will be level 70. And again, there's no requirements here to level it up. You just simply put whatever items you want into it. So lots and lots of freedom on this one. I'm not really going to give many recommendations in the way to build this weapon. Like I said before, it is pretty versatile and uh, I would, you can pretty much build it towards whatever your character is, whether it be strength or magic, or maybe you're a, uh, a more defensive class, but definitely a very good versatile weapon. In order to get the Soul Siphon X and the Life Drain X skills to work, you have to actually have the weapon equipped as your active weapon and you have to do damage to the enemy. And there is a small chance of normal attacks that you will get those uh, that life and that MP back off the enemy. These are most effective at close range, but you can, can still do a decent amount of damage from long range. Of course, because these do give you a percentage of the damage done back in health and MP, the stronger your character is, generally the more MP and HP you're going to get back. So this may not be the most powerful shuriken out there, but this is one of the ones that I believe is the most versatile and probably the most useful out of them all. And I hope you can find good uses for it too. 
Anyway, if you did like this guide and it helped you out, please leave a thumbs up. If you got any comments or suggestions, then leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Oh.